Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali. Now in the last video tutorial, as you remembered, I told you guys that we will complete our uh, settings activity and we will uh, allow a user to edit and update his account information. But before we move to that part, there is an important, a small bug is basically exist in our code which causing the app to close, okay? And that bug is, if you try to log in here, okay, let's say I'm going to type my phone number and then my password and if I click on this uh, remember me okay if I check this and click on this login that in, uh, it allow us to log in successfully here you can see this it allow us to log in successfully but if I close the app okay that is let's say I close the app okay and now if I uh, if I want to run the app again okay that is click on that app and you can see the app starts okay so here now you will see that the app basically crash because it is not getting uh, the, the current user so all we're gonna need is to just write one line of code for that so this is an important thing because our whole apps depend on our this start uh, you can say on our main activity where we are using the uh, paper library for uh, remembering the user okay so don't worry this is a small work let's fix this so for that all you're gonna need is to go to the main activity and here on our main activity when we say that is if the user phone key and user password key is not empty then we uh, call this method which is allow access which is this one so here come down and when we say that is if the phone exists in the database and if the password is correct then what we are gonna do next is that we are sending the user from the main to home activity and here after this intent what we are gonna do next is to uh, set the uh, current user okay to the prevalent class so we can say prevalent dot current online user equals to and pass this user data here okay which is basically our model class user dot class where we are setting uh, all the uh, data from the database so here we can simply say user data so now it know about the user who is going to log in so first of all come here and delete the previous app okay uninstall this because now we modified the code and now let's run the app to see if it is working now or not. Now it will uh, remember the user successfully. Okay, so our app is running now successfully. Now let's try to then password. And now let's remember me and then log in. So we are logged in successfully and once you logged in successfully all you're gonna need is to close the app now so that we can test either the app remember us or not so let's go and now let's click again on the e-commerce and now here we go it is working fine now it is working successfully that was only a small bug which was important to fix because we will be needing that I mean the user ID the user information on our settings activity so that's why I mean our whole app depends on the user information so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will complete the settings activity bye for now